Good morning, church family. For those of you that are joining us for the first time, my name is Ashley Lalkin, and I co-direct Family Ministries here at Mission Hills. This is Sarah, and both of us have the joy of welcoming your children into the Sunday sermon. If you want to invite your children over, this is something special just for them. Hi, children. Welcome. Each week, we do a memory verse. Today's memory verse is Philippians 4, 19. You can grab your Bibles and read it there or follow along on the screen. Philippians 4, 19. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And now our video, Elijah and the Widow. Hello, friends. My name is Megan. And my name is Jessie. Megan, could, uh, could you take me to the store? <laughs> I'd be happy to, Jesse. What do you need at the store? Dog food. It's almost time to feed Max and Sadie, and uh, I don't have enough food. Oh, yeah. That's definitely not enough dog food for two dogs. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> Before we head to the store, though, let me tell you today's Bible story. There was a woman who only had a little bit of flour and oil to feed herself and her son. God did something amazing with what she had. Listen to the story. Elijah was a prophet. He gave God's messages to his people. One day, he went to Ahab, the evil king of Israel, and said, there will be no dew or rain for the next few years until I say so. Oh no! Then God told Elijah to go to a place near a stream. God said ravens would bring food for Elijah to eat. So Elijah obeyed God. The ravens brought him bread and meat, and Elijah drank water from the stream. When the stream dried up and there was no water, God told Elijah to go to a small village. God said a woman in the town would help Elijah. The woman was a widow. Her husband had died. So Elijah obeyed God. At the gate, Elijah saw the woman gathering wood. He said, please bring me some water so I can drink. Please bring me some bread too. The woman was sad. She and her son did not have enough food to eat. She told Elijah, I don't have bread. I only have a little bit of flour and oil. She and her son were very hungry. Do not be afraid, Elijah said. Bring me a small loaf of bread. Then make bread for yourself and your son. God says you will not run out of flour or oil until rain comes again. So the woman made bread. She, Elijah, and everyone in her household had enough to eat, and she did not run out of flour or oil, just like the Lord had said. One day, the woman's son got sick, and he stopped breathing. The woman was very upset. Elijah laid the boy on the bed. He cried out to God, stretched himself out over the boy three times, and cried out to God again. God, please let this boy live again. God listened to Elijah and the boy came back to life. Elijah led the boy to his mother. She said to Elijah, now I know you are a man of God and the words you say from God are true. God miraculously provided for Elijah to give food to the widow and life to the son. And many years later, God miraculously provided his own son, Jesus. Jesus is better than Elijah. In Jesus, God provides salvation for those of us who trust in Jesus. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> 